Hi everyone and welcome back to Cooking and Pink Food. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Charlene and I'm about to take you on a food adventure from right here in my kitchen. So, come on. Mm. Hello and half a day everyone. Today we are going to be making Chamorro Tatitas. Starting off with two and one fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that in. But you just wanna pinch in there. Here I have some butter that I'm going to quickly melt. Now for this recipe, you have a choice between coconut milk and evaporated milk. My favorite is coconut milk, but I do enjoy it with evaporated milk also. It's just coconut milk adds this flavor, like this creamy, extra creamy flavor that you just can't get anywhere else. Now for the coconut milk, um, I'm not gonna be using the whole can, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. I shook the can as hard as I could, but that doesn't always get all that clump out. Give it a stir and get everything nice and smooth, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up all my dry ingredients and get it well incorporated with each other before the wet ingredients gets in. All right, now my butter is melted, it's still a little warm, so I'm gonna start off with using a half a can of coconut milk. I'm gonna add some to the butter just to help cool it down. That's about a half a can. And this can here is 13 ounces, all right? So you wanna just be sure if you're gonna go by ounces, you're looking at six point for six and a half. So go ahead and pour that right in there. It's my butter and my coconut milk. Give that a good mix. You're looking for a dough-like consistency. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that support. Thank you. And don't forget to click on that notification bell, especially because I'm going to be doing a chicken caliguin and that chicken caliguin is going to go great with this. So please click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on it. All right. Now, there we go. A half a can was plenty. Now, it is going to be a little sticky. The dough is going to be a little sticky where it sticks to your fingers like that. But that's yeah, it. We can work with this when we lay out our flour. If we're going to roll it out, you want to lay out some flour on a flat surface. And flour your rolling pin, flour the dough, and um, roll out your portion. I'm going to be using an empanada press. And I ordered this from Amazon. And I just went ahead and put a piece of parchment paper right inside. Let me show you how much easier it is to use this. Right now, I'm just rubbing some flour on my fingers so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna go ahead and knead the dough just a bit. And there we go. and turn them into a ball, just like that. And press it, it really depends on how thick you want it, on how hard you press it. So there we have it, around there. Just wanna poke some holes in it, just so it doesn't puff up. Give the heat somewhere to escape. I got my heat set to medium, medium low, and I'm just going to go ahead and lie that down right there. Now it's going to rise up a little. I mean, there's baking powder in there, so like a pancake, it's going to rise up a little bit, not too much. And there's our minute mark. Let's see what it looks like. All right, now let's go give this a flip. Now remember, you don't need butter or oil to grease the pan. You're just toasting it on a medium heat. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Guys, if this 
this from all the teasers. It goes very good with our chicken caliguin, with any caliguin that we have on our island. It's a great dish, not only for sweet, but for savory, lemony. Be sure you click on that notification bell and you're subscribed so you don't miss out on not only all the future food adventures that I got coming up, but for the chicken caliguin that goes with this to tease us. You're gonna see that the combination between the two is outstanding. All right, now I'm gonna finish up the rest of these and I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end. And here we have it guys, some fresh chamorro to tease us. Just take a look at that. I'm gonna have this with some butter. Let's break that open and see what it looks like. Guys, this is absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, have it with some hot coffee in the morning. <laughs> have it with some butter and jam. I'm about to spread some butter. Look at that, can you see that? Mmm, I promise you, this is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell as well So you can be updated more food adventures with me Charlene I'm right here in my kitchen where every day I'm cooking in pink boots Bye